This is Shout Podcast with Kim Robson, the official health and wellbeing podcast from the Firefighters Charity. Hello, welcome to episode three of the Shout Podcast. Season two is focusing on health and wellbeing. If you've missed any of the first couple of episodes, don't worry because you can check them out again. Just head to your usual podcast provider. I've got details of the next Shout Podcast Plus content coming for you very soon. It's a great one as well. More on that a little bit later in the podcast. And in this episode, we're looking at the physical and mental health benefits of us all spending more time outdoors. Clocks have gone forward, nights are getting lighter, weather's getting brighter. Let's talk about how that can benefit us. In this episode, we're hearing from Simon Jakeman. He's a green champion from London Fire Brigade. Finding out more about how you can still enjoy nature in an urban environment. We'll be chatting with Shilla Patel, whose time at Harkham House made her appreciate the importance of green spaces even more. But first, I caught up with the Firefighters Charity's nursing lead, Kath Savage, on why spending time in the fresh air is so good for our bodies and our minds. You're listening to Shout Podcast from the Firefighters Charity. It's it's just a perfect opportunity, like you say now with the lighter nights, a perfect opportunity to get outside into those gardens. Um, Gardening is a really great form of exercise. You know, we always talk about within the charity about remembering that exercise doesn't always need to be gym based, you know, so we can do a lot out doors and gardening is one of those perfect forms of exercise you know planting and sort of weeding and sowing seeds um, can help burn lots and lots of calories so obviously that's a bonus Um, and it also helps get your body moving bending stretching squatting pulling and things like mowing the lawn another really great form of exercise and obviously being outside you obviously get all the other benefits so being outdoors obviously exposes you to sunlight and the body creates vitamin D from the direct sunlight on our skin. So vitamin D is often referred to as the sunshine vitamin um, for that reason. And obviously vitamin D is really good um, to keep your bones, your teeth and your muscles healthy. And you really can make the most of any kind of outdoor space, can't you? We're going to be chatting with Simon Jakeman a little bit later on in the podcast and he's talking to us about how he set up gardens on, on little tiny roof areas of fire stations so it's amazing what you can do with a small space and yet still enjoy the outside absolutely you know many people don't have a garden as you very much just referred to you know so you know thinking about some of those alternatives so you know thinking about can you create a really lovely window box that you you know that you can see you know it's really visual you can still smell it you can still touch it it's not necessarily in a garden it's just sitting lovely on your window box or you know thinking about house plants as well you know there's so many really lovely lovely house plants out there again that you know feel lovely that smell lovely um, and that and that visually are really pleasing as well to the eye so you know that there's lots of different ways that you can bring sort of the green space idea in and around your home and think about other things you know I often say to to beneficiaries who say you know I, I don't have a garden so I say you know perhaps pop down to your local garden centre you know you don't need to go down there and buy anything as such you know you can just go and have a wander around again and it just kind of it allows you to bring alive your senses really like I say you know you can you smell the flowers you can touch them you can see them and you don't necessarily have to buy any you can just take the enjoyment of being in the garden centre. We know that there are physical and uh, mental benefits to ourselves for getting outside but it's great to involve friends and family as well isn't it? Yeah absolutely gardening is just a great all round family activity or equally you can invite your friends around to help you potter around your garden as well you know it's there's something really great about the garden about teaching kids about the responsibility and the importance of looking after um, looking after the garden looking after our wildlife you know and thinking about different sort of ideas you know maybe planting old welly boots up with them or you know getting them involved in preparing hanging baskets thinking about you know researching bee friendly plants for example and uh, you know then you can sit and then joy and watch your, your you know your buzzing visitors come by you know at the right time of the year so yeah I think it's really important to get your family involved you know just make the most of your green space you know it's it's not only good for your physical health but you know the the mental health benefits are far and wide and I would really encourage it you're listening to shout podcast from the firefighters charity 
Shilla Patel is Inclusion Manager for London Fire Brigade and as part of her role, she's always championed people opening up about their own mental health. But a recuperative break at Harkham House opened Shilla's own eyes to what it could be like to do the same thing for herself. It was actually life-changing, to be honest. I, I went there in March 2019 and just realised I needed some time away and, and some self-reflection and just some some headspace for, for me, which is very hard and challenging to do in, in London, but also in my job where you are working at a, a fast um, pace and also continuously supporting others. Um, so it's just a, a magical place in a beautiful setting um, in Devon, um, completely different to, to where I am now. Very quiet and very serene. Um, and it just allowed me to be become one with nature, um, go for walks, um, listen to the birds, um, singing, which is very rare, um, and enjoy the landscapes. And it just really helped my, my own mental health um, and well-being, which then allowed me to, to support others. Um, but realising actually self-care is really important. We've been talking today in the podcast about how important it is to spend this time outdoors and, and gardening and doing things, walking, anything outdoors can really help with both your physical and mental health. You realised that at Harkham House, but how have you managed to bring that back to to London. I think during lockdown it's it's been a challenge for for, for all of us. Um, you know, most of us have been working from home for over a year now and um and I live by myself and it's just really important that you know we all do try and get out as much as possible. Um it's easier said than done. Um but I think it's really important um you know I try and go for walks with friends. One of them has a dog so it's it's great just to to go along. Um, and then enjoy the, the parks around London. Um, North London has some fantastic parks, not the same as Harkham House, um, unfortunately. But, um, but yeah, it's just so important just to get that headspace, enjoy the sun w- when it is out, just enjoying the nature and the environment. Sometimes just being outdoors makes such a difference to how we feel, maybe in a day or in a week or a couple of months. A little later in the podcast, I'm going to be chatting with Simon Jakeman, and obviously you know him from London Fire. He's created these amazing gardens in fire stations. How important do you think that is? Oh, it's immensely important. Um, I've been to one of those mindfulness gardens in Brixton um, at their fire station, and it's absolutely stunning. It's just, uh, I think it gives the firefighters just some space for themselves. If they've gone to a difficult shout, for example, or an incident, they can come back, they can get a cup of tea or coffee and just sit and debrief together in open space. Um, And, you know, with beautiful flowers um, around them and, um, yeah, just soak it all in and and have that really important chat to, to help their own mental health and well-being. Obviously, as part of your job, it's all about helping people. But if you were to look back at the journey you've been on, what advice would you give others now? I think the the most important advice would be to take time for yourself. Um, and it, it's just really important. Um, so I think that's the best advice. But but also, it's OK not to be OK, um, particularly during these really difficult times. It's OK to say, you know what, I'm having a really bad day. Or actually, I, I need some help. Um, and, and it is very difficult to, to ask for help. But it, it is out there. It's it, We're in a different world now where... There is mental health support, um, you know, with all our fantastic charities, including the Firefighters Charity. Shilla, thank you. It's absolutely excellent advice there. And we're having a bit of mixed weather, but hopefully the sun comes out and it can make us all feel a little better and a little brighter and spend more time outside. Absolutely. That sounds sounds lovely. So let's talk more about the importance of these green spaces. Simon Jakeman is a green champion from London Fire Brigade. And it all began for him by growing tomatoes in an old fire bucket. Yeah, that's right. So it all started um, back in about 2010, I think, something like that, 2009. Um, and uh, we had a flat roof at the fire station. My fire station I was uh, posted at the time was Surbiton. And there was just a flat roof, um, nothing going on out there. So a quick conversation, really, with our station commander and asked if I could start growing some some food out there. And uh, yes, as you said, it started with one fire bucket and one tomato plant. Got it up there before he changed his mind. And then it literally grew from there. 
That's amazing, really, isn't it? Did you ever think that you would go from that point to where you are now? Not at all. <laughs> I'm now the green champion coordinator. Um, we've got gardens right across London Fire Brigade. There's about 60 plus now out of the 100 stations with more in the pipeline. I've been to Hampton Court Flower Show three times and got medals from that. Been on Gardener's World. It's just just crazy. Just thinking, you know, joining the Fire Brigade, how, yeah, I never thought it was going to go to where it has. Have you always been green fingered? Um, yeah, always done a little bit here and there, but um, I think the seed was planted uh, for my granddad uh, when we were little. Um, he was always growing stuff. He actually moved out of London so that he could have uh, a bigger garden and he had an allotment at the bottom of his garden. So whenever we were there, we were always digging. And uh, yes, it's um, the smell of tomato still reminds me of my granddad's greenhouse, even today. Tell me how you think this has helped with the overall morale in the fire stations. Um, well, all the gardens have just been fantastic. It just gives a space for all the firefighters just to, to recharge, um, just between calls and incidents, um, just a place to breathe. You're on duty. Obviously, they do feel like a, a second home. Um, but just to have that space, just to get away from the station, just to yeah, take stock of what the day's been, you know, going along and everything, and it's given people a space to talk. Um, yeah, everyone's loved it. You, you know, you see the wildlife passing through. Yeah, it's just it's just fantastic. We've even got um, a garden at Brixton Fire Station, one of the busiest stations I think it's even in Europe, to be honest. And they've they've had time to be able to grow stuff. There's a couple of crows that visit. They've had bees up there as well. They've made bug hotels. Yeah, they're growing their own food for their mess and they absolutely love it. It's a brilliant idea, Simon. I think it's excellent. And you mentioned that you've received a few medals and a few awards along your time. Uh, which has been the best? Well, I was really honoured a few years ago to end up on the, on the New Year's Honours list. I never thought anything would ever happen like that. I mean, it was just wow. So um, I ended up with a British Empire medal. Oh, congratulations. Um, Thank you for services to the environment. What's just amazing. If you think back to that fire bucket, wow. Yeah, you've come a long way. But you've also done it not just for yourself, but also for the mental health and well-being of your colleagues and your friends around you as well. And that's so important, I think. Yeah, it, it's really taken off now. It, the best thing about it is watching other stations um, creating their green spaces and gardens. Some of them I haven't even known that are happening and then they just suddenly appear. And it's just great to see that um, that ball rolling, that everyone's taking it on themselves to start now. And it, it's, it's just brilliant. It's not even in London, just London. It's across the country now. So there's gardens appearing in um, Avon, Manchester, Essex, Hertfordshire. It, it's just brilliant. Simon, it's been lovely to talk to you. Well done on everything you've achieved in those years from that simple bucket with the with, with the tomatoes in it. Your granddad will be very proud of you. Yeah, I, th I think it, I think he would have been actually. That was that's the most well, the best thing about it to be honest. I think he would be. I mentioned earlier that we had another very special podcast plus coming up. This time around, Kirsty Gladys is going to give us a guided walk. And just allow the instructions to guide you rather than to be absolute. So if you haven't done this before, a, a mindful walk is just gently concentrating on what is happening right now. So at the moment, we're just gently concentrating on our breath, breathing in and breathing out. Make sure you don't miss any of the main podcast or Shout Podcast Plus episodes by subscribing via your usual platform. As I mentioned, check out the notes for details on today's topics or visit firefightercharity.org.uk forward slash shout podcast for lots of links to articles and various information. Coming up on the next episode in a fortnight's time, we're looking at living well in later life. Claire Hannaford hosts a Living Well group where we'll be hearing from beneficiaries on how digital meetups open a whole new community to them during lockdown. People were logging in from Manchester right the way through to Malta. But more on that next time. Until then, take care. Shout Podcast. Please subscribe and review us wherever you get your podcasts and check out firefighterscharity.org.uk to find out how the Firefighters Charity could support you.